Well, I'm going to tell you, it's been a busy last couple of days. We've had a lot of loads of dirt brought in, um, and they're still bringing it in. We got trucks coming in this morning. I have to get out here and get started on this. This was the area that we had built that dam around. Well, this afternoon, uh, yesterday afternoon, they started dumping dirt right here, and they're gonna bring that dirt all the way out to this point probably here, but I've gotta keep this, all this stuff right here, I have to keep it pushed up against the dam so that we don't end up having to push across several piles of dirt. So I got to, I have to stay up with them and it shouldn't be a problem so far there. looks like this morning they're only running two trucks. We'll probably run somewhere around over a hundred loads today. They ran, like I said, they're averaging five loads per truck. And if they run four trucks, we'll have no problem hitting that. Um, we'll figure out how many truck loads actually we have brought in after a while and kind of see where we're at, but that's what's going on. Uh, I got to get started with the, we're gonna get on the LS and get started. I gotta get started on this pretty quick. You can still see, even though we haven't had rain in a few weeks, um, you can still see that the ground is, is still soft in this area. And that's why uh, we gotta get this water from, from cum stop accumulating in here. And I'll tell you what, I've been blessed that I'm getting this dirt because that will help tremendously. That just really will, will bring that Bring that around just kind of like we did the dam. Bring that all the way around here and keep going all the way down this dam and kind of create a, that's where the end of the dam is. And we'll just kind of, kind of bring it straight across here. <laughs>
but there was a point when they were bringing the dirt in, they actually brought me a load that had some trash in it, okay? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know where, where it came from or, or what was going on there. Uh, I think they dug something up and they just loaded it onto one of the trucks, or actually it was two truck loads, uh, and they brought that to me. Um, we talked to the drivers and said, I don't want this trash. We're talking about housing stuff and, and other debris that I just don't want on my property. And so we loaded that truck back up and got that stuff out of here. They were real nice about it and they, they understood it was just an accident that they happened to dig that stuff up. It was just in some of the stuff they were loading at the time. Uh, but we got it loaded back up and got it out of here. So I don't, you know, I don't want that trash on my property. We try to keep our places clean. I don't need the litter. So. So let me explain here what's going on a little bit. We've been receiving dirt in here and we've been back dragging this. I worked on this a lot this morning by myself and then uh, we got some help here. And uh, so I wanted to talk about this tractor for just a moment. This is a Massey Ferguson 5711. These are awesome tractors. I'll just say it that way. Very, very, very good tractor. It is a Dyna 4 transmission. Um, they use a, I believe it's a four cylinder uh, diesel engine. It is a 110 horsepower, so, it's, so it does use uh, DEF uh, fluid, but this tractor is strong, uh, gets a lot of work done really quick, very heavy tractor, but I want to bring it to your attention. You've seen it out here. It's got a soft ride loader on it. Uh, amazing how soft that loader works and how well that loader works. Uh, inside the cab on this tractor is extremely quiet. I ran it yesterday for a while.
had another area where it had some low spots and so forth. We were able to fill that by the end. So we got this smoothed out. It's a, it's a lot nicer. Uh, you can see it behind me here. And that basically all that does is go down to the, the uh, stock pond that's down there. They think I'm going to feed them. So look, you've got to get grass planted on this new dirt, especially uh, before you receive any rain, because that will start to wash away, especially in, the, in these areas where we're talking about here. These are all areas that uh, are waterways, and uh, when it rains, it brings the water into our stock ponds. And we did not want the dirt to all wash away or wash into the ponds. Uh, I'd be back out cleaning ponds out again. This is the area behind me that we first started receiving dirt in. And this uh, little area here, which is just basically a runoff for the water that runs down to the tank, we had to do something to it to keep it from eroding and, and losing the, the dirt that we just put in here. So basically I just started off with some, some tractor supply style grass, which is, is, is an is a annual, uh, has an annual rye in it, uh, as well as it has some tall fescue and a few other grasses. I think there's, a, there's some kind of clover in it and so forth. It's just a mixed grass. It's just an all purpose style grass. The main purpose right now is just to keep this from washing behind me. But we did get that done. This is looking really good here. So the grass is just now getting going and uh, you can see that it's, it's taken over pretty good. Now the only problem I have here is that unfortunately this dirt had a lot of rocks that were in it that you couldn't see. Uh, now I have rocks all over my place so it's not like I don't have any rocks but I didn't need any more rocks. We have rocks in this and uh, at some point I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to um, I don't know, get a rock bucket and see if I can clean this up eventually. But like I said, first thing we had to do was get some grass started in here. So was, there was this video we put out a while back where Jason and I built a little small dam to keep the water from uh, you know accumulating in this area behind me. Now there's about, I know it's hard to believe, but there's probably close to 100 loads right here that they dropped for me and we were able to fill in on the back side of this dam and create a, a nice area that is now a gradual slope that goes up to the pot, top of the dam um, for the, uh, to keep that water from accumulating on the back side of the dam. This area is all filled in now. It looks much better. And we're very happy with what we have here. Um, this used to be just fill up with water, all this did. Now this took, like I said, this took close to 100 loads of dirt to get this filled in. All in all, from the time I started receiving dirt to the last load that dropped was somewhere probably around 230 loads. And it's, it's just a guess. I don't really know exactly, um, but it's gonna be close to that 230 loads. That's a lot of dirt. And we brought that in and got all of our gullies filled up, got all of our holes filled up. It was it was really nice to get that taken care of. Look, we appreciate everybody tuning in and watching this video. But until next time, thanks.